Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just gonna talk a little bit about what it was like when I was in high school in uh, 83, 84, 85, what it was like then uh, being a gamer. Now, it was actually considered pretty cool to play video games. Um, in junior high as well, Having an, when I was in junior high, if you had an Atari, it was considered pretty cool. In television, pretty cool. Um, you were sort of seen as maybe your family had a decent amount of money, uh, that you were sort of, you know, on the edge in terms of technology. You were on the cutting edge. Um, it just showed that your family was kind of with it, you know, kind of up to date on what was going on. People loved video games, and it was, you know, if you were a video game household, people wanted to come over. It was kind of like if you had a trampoline or a pool or something like that. If you had a good video game console with, you know, a bunch of games, people would want to come over. And um, when the ColecoVision came out, uh, when I was in high school, that was considered very cool. Suddenly in television and Atari 2600 were seen as not so cool anymore, but it was seen as cool to have a ColecoVision. And suddenly, you know, if you had a ColecoVision and a bunch of games, people would want to come over to your house. We would trade games, you know, openly. We would take our games to school and trade them. And it was no problem at all. You weren't picked on for playing video games. The arcades were very popular. Now, this was in North Richland Hills in a suburb, which was a suburb of Fort Worth, Texas. Maybe it was different in your town back in the day. Let me know in the comments if it was. But let's talk about comic books for a moment. Comic books were not seen as cool at all in junior high or high school. Let's talk about high school in particular. I was a major, major, major comic book fan, and two of the best comics at the time were the Teen Titans and the Uncanny X-Men. These were excellent comic books, as good as anything you could see on TV, about as good as anything you could see in the movies. Complex storylines with characters that had growth, and um, you know, one of the marks of good storytelling is character growth, and these comics certainly had that. There was drama, there was you know relationship issues, there was a lot of action and fun. These were great comic books, and you know there was a lot of good comic books at the time. Daredevil was very good. Uh, there was some good Batman comics going on. Um, I, but it was not cool at all to 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 read uh, comic books. It just was not considered a cool thing to do, and I didn't dare tell anyone when I was in high school you know, other than my closest friends that I was into comic books. I only know a couple, you know, a handful of people maybe that read comics in high school or, or at least admitted to doing it. A friend named Brian that was into art, he liked the art, so he bought the comics for that. A couple of other friends, my friend Bill was a big Stephen King fan, and I sort of got him into reading comic books from that. You know, I said, hey man, uh, comics are just as good. And so he got into reading comics, but we didn't tell people, we didn't advertise it because you were pretty much considered a low-grade moron or, you know, some like you were just reading some subliterate drivel that was only aimed at kids. And uh, you know, that changed a little bit later on after we graduated when things like The Watchmen came out, The Dark Knight Returns, uh, Camelot 3000 came around sometime in the, I guess, mid to late 80s. But regardless, comics got more, you know, than Sandman after that, you know, the late, I believe it was 89 around that time or whatever. Um, and into the 90s, you know, comics got more and more sophisticated. And geek culture is more accepted nowadays. And so it's, Comic books, apparently, is really not much of a problem. If you're in high school nowadays, and it's known that you read comics, you know, as long as you're not just a super geek or something, it's really not seen as anything all that, you know, you're not really, from what I understand, from what I've talked to, you know, parents of, you know, high school age kids and, and with my own kids, it's, it's not really considered that big of a deal to read comics. They're not gonna get looked down or on or whatever. And a Comic-Con is obviously super big. The biggest comic book conventions when I was in high school would get, you know, Dow the one in Dallas, uh, Dallas Fantasy Fair, would get about 2,500 people for a weekend, and that was considered huge. And um, nowadays, you know, San Diego, and that was like the third biggest Comic-Con in the country after, like, Chicago and San Diego. And now, you know, the bigger Comic-Cons get over 100,000 people, some cases over 200,000 people or whatever, are close to that, and they're just huge, and, com you know, comic book culture is very accepted. But man, in 82, 83, 84, 85, you did not dare, at least in my area, you did not dare tell people you read comic books, which is kind of funny. Um, a lot of the people I knew didn't read anything at all other than what they had to, like maybe for school or later for their job or whatever. And how can reading comics be considered you know, worse than not reading at all? Uh, that's how badly comic books were looked at, that it was better to read nothing than to read comic books. But anyway, so... Times have definitely changed over the years. You know, like I said, geek culture is more accepted now. But even so, um, 
if you indulge in it maybe too much, people kind of look at you question, like you've got a big collection like I have, you know, lots of video games, lots of comics. Maybe somebody thinks you're a man-child. I did a man-child video recently that you might want to take a look at that are you a man-child if you play video games. But to me, video games, comics, and all that stuff is not much different than, um, you know, watching sports or watching TV or whatever. So let's say you cosplay as Wolverine or, you know, Harley and, or Ivy to, um, you know, to Comic-Con. How is that any different than, you know, dressing up like Peyton Manning and go to a football game or wearing a LeBron jersey to a Lakers game? You know, what's the difference? Uh, what's the difference between, you know, if you come home at night, you're tired, you've taken care of all your responsibilities, and you've got an hour or two before you go to bed and you just want to chill, or you just want to, you just come home and plop down after a hard day at work, and you just, what's the difference between, you know, just watching TV, watching a sitcom or a drama, or watching sports and reading a comic book or playing a video game. You know, video games have complex storylines these days and cinematic visuals. Comic books are very sophisticated. Or even if you just want to read something simple or play a simple game, you know, it's no more, uh, more or less, um, how is that any more immature than, you know, just watching people running around on the, on the basketball court, you know, throwing a ball in a hoop or, um, you know, just uh, watching just some mindless TV show. It doesn't really matter. It's just what you do in your off time, how you unwind, how you get, a, you know, escape for a little bit. It's all good. Anyway, leave in the comments below what was it like, whether you're younger or older, when you were in school, or if you're in still school now, or if you're still in school now, how are video games viewed? How are comic books viewed? Just leave in the comments below, especially if you've come from a time like I do, when they, this kind of stuff was really, or comic books in particular for me, was really frowned upon. Leave in the comments below your experiences with that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Have a new episode of Tales from a Retro Gamer this week where I'll be showing off my Donkey Kong collection, a very mature hobby to have. All right, guys, we will talk to you later. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good day.